go ahead and call our first meeting in February to order, and we just thank you all for coming. This is one of the best crowds we had. And John, I think we're going to lock the doors afterwards so they can't all leave after the kids get done. It's nice to have a full crowd in here for a change, so uh, beware. He might lock the door on you all so you can't get out. <laughs> Anyways, uh, just thank you all for coming. And really, when we see a crowd like this, this is what government's all about. It's for the people and by the people. And by gosh, uh, that's what it's all about. And uh, we always appreciate your comments and uh, your calls to us. And just thank you so much for that. And especially, we thank you for your prayers. Uh, the invocation tonight will be by the Reverend Mark Denton. Mark is the senior pastor of Oak Hill United Methodist Church. And then after that, we're going to have the Pledge of Allegiance and probably a short presentation by the kids from Forest Hill Elementary School, their uh, Student Government Association. And I think they're going to have a little program, and Deborah Kendall is the principal of that. So if you all would rise and then stay standing for the invocation. Thank you. Let us pray. <clears throat> Gracious God, as our commissioners meet t tonight to do the business of the people here in Burke County, we pray that you would give them wisdom to follow the teachings of the scriptures first, to let justice roll down like waters and righteousness as an ever-flowing stream, and second, to do unto others as they would have others to do unto them. Lord, help us all to follow these teachings so that we may be good neighbors and good citizens under your kingdom. We pray for thy kingdom's sake. Amen. Amen. Good. Thank you, Pastor. Everybody can be seated for their little program, please. Good evening. It's my honor to be here on behalf of Debbie Kendall, who's in your program, and Ms. Jody Smith. We are the um, Forest Hill Student Council, and um, we each year get to come into the program. This year, uh, the children sat and brainstormed about all the wonderful things that they love about their school, Forest Hill Elementary School. I hope that you hear something here that uh, makes you have a question about what goes on in our school. Uh, look us up on our website or come by and, uh, and visit our wonderful school that these children love so much. So um, I'm going to let Mr. Ostra count up one. As we love soccer, go into the farm. Four still huskies for a lot of charm. Reading, writing, walking arm in arm. Four still huskies for bullies to no harm. Proud to be a husky, four is still. Battle of the books or camp thunder earth. Falls of pride and eating kind, really are the word. Recycle forests, our voices can be heard. Sharing knowledge everywhere. 
<laughs> and we'd like to take a picture with the commissioners with them, if that's all right. And we will take the papers right out of the <laughs> All right. All right. Let's all go down there. Right. A nice uh, little get together there. Uh, our next item of business is item four, approval of the agenda. I think you've all had time to look at the agenda. Uh, if there's not anything added to it, I'll be glad to accept the motion to approve the agenda as printed. Mr. Chair? Yes, sir. I move that the agenda be accepted as presented. All right. One point of order for question. At the end, we have reports, and I've got a report I copied that. Uh, has our Bird County Parks and Recreation included? All right. I just want to pass it out. I can do that during the commissioner's reports and comments, right? All right. And That'll we don't need to add another. All right. Correct? That'll, that'll that... be fine, Maynard. That'll Thank be you. excellent. Yeah. All right. We have a motion on the floor. All those in favor, uh, please raise your right hand. Opposed, like sign. That passes four to zero. All right. Our next item is the. Uh, Approval of the minutes, item five, minutes from our regular board meeting, January uh, 18th, 2011, and I believe everybody was here for that it's meeting. Not, you, I was. You, oh, you were. Yeah, that's what that's, I you were. So uh, Bruce won't be voting on that. Again, uh, be, if there's not any uh, corrections or deletions, additions, I'll be happy to accept the mo motion Mr. to approve Chairman, that. So moved. All right, you heard the motion by Maynard. Again, all those in favor, please raise your right hand. That passes three to, uh, and Gene abstained because he wasn't here, so. Uh, I'm sorry, Bruce. Uh, presentations, we have none scheduled. Uh, public addresses to the board. Uh, has anybody signed up, Doris, for? Uh, no, sir. Yeah, we also, we don't have any public addresses to the board. Uh, we have, uh, we don't have any public hearings scheduled. We don't have any public hearings and decisions scheduled. So that probably takes us down to the consent agenda, and I think we have three items there, and with that, I'll turn it over to uh, our county manager, Mr. Brian Steen. Mr. Chairman, members of the board, you have uh, three items there. If there are any questions, I'll be glad to try and answer them. If not, uh, if the board wants to take action on that, that'll be fine. All right. Are we all comfortable with that, or do you want Brian to read through each one? Uh, Mr. Chairman, I think for the audience, uh, we need at least do the title on those uh, All right. consent agendas. All right. We so don't mind. Go ahead, Brian. We'll let you. Uh, you have the Burke County Tax Office EMS Collections Report for December 2010. That's followed by the Burke County Emergency Services requesting the approval to purchase one Viper base channel radio for immediate installation at High Peak site. And your third item is the uh, designation of the ordinance dated November 30th, 2010, ordinance prohibiting smoking and use of tobaccoless, let me change that, use of smokeless tobacco products in all Burke County facilities and on all property owned or controlled by Burke County is section 2-2 of chapter 2, article 1 of the Burke County Code of Ordinances. All right, any questions for Brian on those three items? Mr. Chairman, I make the motion we approve all three items, A, B, and C. Good, thank you, Maynard. You've heard the motion by Maynard. All those in favor, please raise your right hand. Opposed, like, sign. That passes uh, four to zero. All right, again, uh, we have the same amount of items for decision, three items tonight, and our first uh, item for decision is a strategic alliance for Burke County youth, uh, which is called SABI, and uh, they request a rental agreement to occupy a county office space located at 100 North Green Street or the old uh, economic development office. And is Sam here? Did maybe, I guess Brian will let you go ahead and present yeah. on that part. Mr. Chairman, members of the board, there had been some apparent discussion back in the fall of 2010 regarding the potential use of county office space by the uh, uh, Strategic Alliance for Burke County Youth Incorporated, it's abbreviated S-A-B-Y. Um, and they are a nonprofit corporation that was chartered uh, apparently in October of 2009 to embody a fresh approach to stubborn youth issues against which real progress has been difficult. Uh, Sabe 
wishes to formalize a rental agreement to use county-owned office space for a period of one year with a one-year renewal clause for a fee of $100 a month. Um, I've had the uh, county attorney go ahead and draft a rental agreement for your review and consideration. Um, if the board uh, is receptive to that, uh, the board may want to go ahead and make a motion to approve the attached lease. That will be executed when I believe the organization has rep uh, identified and hired an executive director. So it, it may be a month or two from now. Right. Questions for uh, the county manager? Yes, so Mr. Chairman. Mr. Manager, now we did say that they would be responsible for all utilities and their telephone calls. To they would be responsible for telephone and internet. The, the electric and the water and sewer would, would be part of the, uh, the, the $100 fee. Lease agreement, okay. Because mm -hmm. we're running that anyway, so. Yeah. All right. Other questions? All right, I'll be happy to accept a motion to uh, approve that. Mr. Chair, I'll make a motion to um, approve the attached lease agreement with Strategic Alliance for Burke County Youth for the use of county office space located at 108 North Green Street. All right. Thank you, Bruce. Mr. Chairman, amendment, please. That we go ahead and accept the contract unless something issue comes up that we need to readdress it. All right. Good. Thank you. Is that all right? Yeah, yeah that's right. That yeah. Good. Thank you. All right. So we have the motion with an amendment by Maynard. Uh, any other any other questions, comments? If not, uh, what's the pleasure of the uh, commissioners on uh, item one? Need to uh, approve the amendment Maynard. first. Um, all right. Uh, can we can just include it in the motion if that's fine with you, man. Uh, it doesn't make a difference. Yeah, that's just fine. included in the motion. Be added to the motion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> Is that all right, Brian? Or? Yeah, you you need to get a second now that it's been amended. We don't. Yeah. Okay. All right, I second. All right. So you second it. Yeah. All right. I second his motion with them. All right. Uh, any other discussion? There being none, all those in favor, please raise their right hand. Opposed, like sign. That passes four to zero. All right. Item two is a Burke County REACT uh, revision of the contract for Burke County REACT Team uh, 3420 Inc. That's going to be presented by uh, Terry Houston, the president of Burke County REACT. Mm -hmm. Terry? Thank you, Mr. Chairman, fellow commissioners. Mr. Manager, uh, back in October of 2005, our contract was due to be renewed with the county <clears throat> for another 10 years. And it was done so with a requirement put in there that we have to have a full CPA audit each year. We'd like to request the commissioners, if you would, to amend that contract to allow us to, to use some reviews during that 10 year period due to the cost and the amount of of funding that we get as well as the economic times that we're in. Right now a review is costing us about thirteen hundred dollars. Cost for an audit would be thirty five hundred to five thousand per year. And at this point uh, that would be a tremendous uh, strain on our, our actual department budget. I would be happy to answer any questions that any commissioners have. Terry you want to just uh to, uh, I, I know I asked you to check in how many uh, calls you had this year and how many uh, calls you answered and what you didn't answer, which uh, I thought was uh, something you should add to that. Okay, sir. Um, I did, after, after speaking with Mr. Abley, go back and count our calls that was actually dispatched through the Emergency Operations Center for the year 2010. We had 325 dispatch calls. Out of that, we had four no responses. One, we were already on an existing call. One, we were working several parades that was scheduled the same day. Uh, the other two were late at night and just didn't have any volunteers that, that attended that call. So I think that's probably a little better than 98% actual call attendance that we've, we've given the county. 
And I, and I also know they probably save our county about $2 million a year that we would have to, uh, the sheriff would have to provide those services, I guess, or somebody else. And uh, so that's a big savings to the county. Other questions for uh, Terry? Comments? Mr. Chairman, uh, I think in doing this, we all agree that we might have to do that for other nonprofit entities that were on the same basis. As well. Right. Yeah. No other comment? All right. If there's no other comments, I'll be happy to accept a motion to. Uh, oh, Steve, go Mr. ahead. Chair, I make a motion that we revise the current uh, service agreement requirement for an annual audit and allow the use for the uh, financial review during the years one through four and six through nine of the 10 year term and require the complete financial audit for the years number uh, five and number 10, uh, unless annual funding amount or unforeseen circumstances that causes the county desire or require a complete financial audit at any time during the 10 year agreement. Thank you, Steve. You've all heard the motion. Uh, again, uh, all those in favor, please raise your right hand. Opposed, like sign, that passes four to zero. Thank you, thank you, Terry. Thank you. Item three, Burke County Emergency Services requesting approval for an ambulance purchase, and uh, we do have money in the budget for this ambulance, uh, so it's a matter of uh, moving on with this. Randy. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Commissioners, I come to you tonight to ask for authorization to allow purchase by emergency services of an ambulance, more especially a type three AEV G4500 Duramax ambulance. Uh, we ask that you authorize this purchase under the sole source exception uh, provision made in state law. Based on that, North Carolina General Statute 143-129 authorizes the counties to let purchases based on bidding, but in this particular situation, we have an exception that is outlined in 143-129 E6, which basically states that the requirements of this article did not apply to the purchases of apparatus, supplies, materials, or equipment when the performance or price competition for a product are not available, or a needed product is available from only one source, or due to standardization or compatibility as being the overriding consideration in the purchase. If there's no other provision in this section that conflicts with that, the governing board of the county can authorize the purchase of that ambulance or that apparatus based on sole source. So tonight I come to you and ask that the Board of Commissioners authorize us to purchase of the sole source exception uh, this particular ambulance based on three principles. One, the last two ambulances we have purchased have been manufactured by this particular vendor, AEV or American Emergency Vehicles. Number two, the ambulance is the same as the previous purchases we have made, as attested to by the letters in your packet from the uh, vendor itself. And number three, the Northwestern Emergency Vehicles is the only licensed dealer for American Emergency Vehicles in North Carolina. Based on that, we request uh, that the board consider allowing us to purchase that vehicle under the sole source exception of the state general statutes. Thank Any you, Randy. Questions, sir? questions for Randy? Hmm. And that vehicle is $112,977, which we already have the money in the budget, right? Yes, sir. We have that in the budget right now as budgeted funds from the current budget year. I have, what's the expected delivery date? Uh, it is uh, sitting on the line now. It should be able to be delivered to us probably within the next couple of weeks. Once the purchase order clears and goes through them. Mr. Chairman. Uh, this budget that we have approved, it came out of uh, taxpayers' general fund, or did it come from receipts from uh, the ambulance service we offer? It came from the general fund through the budget okay. processor. Okay. And was authorized during the regular budget se session last yes, year? Right? Back in July. Yeah. Or excuse me, June. I think was when it was approved. Other uh, questions, comments? There being none, what's the pleasure of the board on item three? Mr. Chairman, I make a motion to approve the sole source resolution related to the purchase of one 2010 GM Duramax G 4500 Type 3 modular ambulance from Northwest Emergency Vehicles 
and authorize the purchase of said ambulance from Northwestern Emergency Vehicles for a price totaling one twelve nine seventy seven, as budgeted. Thank you, Maynard. You all heard the motion by Maynard. Again, all those in favor, please raise your right hand. Opposed, like sign. That passes four to zero. Thank you, uh, Randy. Thank you, commissioners. All right, we did have a short agenda tonight. It's only a half an hour into our meeting, and uh, we're already down at the very end. However, we will have a closed session tonight. But uh, our next item of business is comments and reports. Board members and staff, we'll start with the clerk. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I guess my only comment tonight is uh, our prayers are still with the family of um, uh, Commissioner Huffman. Good, thank you. Steve? Uh, no comments tonight. No comment. And, and again, I'm, I'm, I'm like uh, the, the clerk. Uh, we need to keep the family in our prayers. Uh, I'm sure they're having a rough time. Uh, Gene was very well liked and uh, a great family man. So uh, let's uh, keep that family in our prayers. Brian? Mr. Chairman, I just want to make the board aware of three things briefly. I believe you have received a, a birthday card for a centurion citizen here to, uh, to sign off on. Also, we've received some information from the Western Piedmont COG regarding the uh, Western Piedmont Water Resources Commission. And they are asking right now, I think Susan from our planning department handles this, but they were wanting to know if a commissioner might want to be the primary contact or if they want to let Susan continue. And I have uh, a little information here for anybody that's interested, just let me know at our next meeting, Mr. Chairman, you can work that. And also we've had a, a contact regarding the 2011 National Consumer Protection Week, uh, asking that we consider doing a proclamation and possibly uh, establishing a link on our website for anybody interested in this information. Uh, this comes to us from the Federal Trade Commission and I will uh, probably have something in your pre-agenda for your next meeting on this. Just wanted to make you aware of that, and thank you. Good. Thank you, Brian. Maynard? Okay. Would you? <clears throat> Mr. Chairman, just a very short couple of sentences on this uh, issue. Um, if you turn to that front page, and go down to Burke County Recreations and Parks, you can see how we are way, way, way short of 99% uh, of the people on that list. And I call this a radar notice. I think we just need to put a few things, and that's one of them on the radar that that is way low. And if we continue to wait till the next year, the next year, the next year, just wanted it for your information so you could set it. I appreciate that. Well, I've, I've always said they've done it great job over at recreation with a little bit of money they, uh, they they do not get a lot of money for what the work they do and as many people are touched by uh, recreation with all the different sports and that so uh, we, we do not spend a lot of money on recreation and we sure take our hat off to them for the wonderful job they do amen they are no comments no comments all right we'll go to the clerk and uh, she'll give us the vacancy announcements uh, tonight, the vacancies, the Burke County Public Library Board of Trustees has announced a vacancy for a representative from within the city limits of Morganton for a three-year term. Burke County Board of Adjustment has the vacancy for a West alternate to fill the unexpired term ending September 2011, and that applicant would need to live uh, in one of the townships to qualify. Lower Creek, Quaker Meadows, Upper Creek, Jonas Ridge, Linville, Morganton, or Silver Creek, and the Burke County Nursing Home Advisory Committee still has <coughs> one vacancy. Good, thank you, Doris. All right, like I said, we will have a closed session pursuant to NCGS 143-31811A34-56 for legal economic development, property acquisition, personnel matters, and I need a motion to go into a closed session. All right. Who is that? We have, we have a motion here. All those in favor, please raise your right hand. And again, that uh, passes unanimously. Uh, I don't know if we'll have any action coming out of closed session tonight. I'm not sure, but uh, I think it's more for information. But again, uh, we thank you all for coming to our meeting tonight. And. Uh, uh, like I say, it was a very short meeting. I don't think we've I can ever remember. And, almost nine years now meeting this short so uh, 
Uh, we uh, stand to go into closed session.